I definitely don't use a cool shot here. My neck is. Boom! We might lose Bob though, thanks to that maneuver. Greetings, everyone. Today we are continuing our set of eight adventure, and our guest of honor is Hellbringer F. Now, you may scratch your head and ask, what is so impressive or even good in that particular set of eight? Nobody's playing it. Well, I will show you that between two games and link with the build will be in the video description, obviously. But let me tell you right now, I don't know why people don't play this more. It is very satisfying to play. Before we will dive in, consider commenting, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel. And now let's go. The main problem is I can't really get shot in this world. Huh. You wanna try that again, Hellbringer? Oh, this is going. Hey, excuse me? What is that? Rifle, huh? Well. I have this, uh, the Marauder here with me, so... Holy shit! Oh, hell no! I kicked that back. Uh, coming out of the plane in fourth floor. That's Stone Rhino. That's a Colos Stone Rhino. Alright, I got a... That's a dead Stone Rhino, dude. Yes, yes. Why are you push shot? I don't need this. I definitely don't need a push shot here. My neck. Boom! We might lose Bob though, thanks to that maneuver. New contact. New contact. Watch your sensors. Sensors are picking up. What do you hear? Well... He will be able to run away from me because he's faster. Which is sad. Eventually he will overheat and die. That's, that's also a possibility. Ooh, brother. That's a quite a lot of people down low. I don't want... To be honest. Enemy new contact, new contact. Watch your sensors. Contact, one touch CT. Contact, I have enemy contact. Transpider CT, port. Artillery, open fire. Watch artillery. Enemy detected. Oh, dude. Yeah, I wish for you to do that constantly. Black Knight City one touch. Oh, I cannot take that. Uh oh, is that a fresh mech? Not exactly. But they have a lot of fresh mechs. Huh. Let's push this Hellbringer and make him pay. Oh. Oh. Boom, Rico. Oh, you little shit. You have me? No, don't go for my legs. That looks like a real blast. Who's laughing now? Brother, I am doing what I can. Enemy but detected. There is not much left out of my mic. I am 19%. I cannot do much. Chat. 
I also have one leg. Cupping is problematic for me. Shadow Cat CT and Fuck it. Feeding Talk is pretty much no armor, but not open. Yeah, I bet you have more armor than I do. One eternity later. It will be pointless, stupid death, I think. Ow! No! Not heaven. I did what I could, seriously. Good try, guys. Oh, I worked really, really hard in this Hellbringer. But... 26... Yeah, I guess artillery. Sorry for that, guys. I really, really tried. Good enough for government work. This is the build. And this is the build. Now most of you will start scratching your head. Really, Evan? What's so impressive about this one? How did you manage to do what you just did in the first game with such setup? First things first. We have two AC-10 and two plasma cannons here, which is kinda medium to long range. And it's pinpoint. This is definitely pinpoint damage, which is crucial because you are hunting for particular components. In this build you cannot, you cannot afford paint things. You need to kill fast and efficient or you will die. But with this you can fire a damage component, you can hunt glides very easily. You just need to watch paper doll and visual signs of the for damage. And the quirks? Well we are here for quirks, right? So hold your pants everyone. Ballistic cooldown minus 20%. Cooldown is minus minus 10%. Which means we are not firing every 2.15 seconds, but with obviously with skills, less than seconds and a half. Mm, yeah, that's significant, I must say. Energy heat minus 10%. So those plasma cannons are not as hot as they use as they should be. And in particular, something we don't usually care about, except maybe light makes. Ammo quirks. Here we have plus 46 shells per ton for every one of those cannons. What does it mean? Well, it's double. This, this is not one ton of ammunition, it's two tons. So I don't have two tons of ammunition here in reality, I have four. And still to cram all of this inside, I needed to share some armor. I mean, this thing in theory, 75 to make and have 422 armor points. We went Hellbringer way, the true Hellbringer way, as it should be, as the Jade Falcons especially, also Hell Horses, likes to play it. We have 272 armor points. But, of course, let's not worry about stuff that are not important you usually shave only things that uh, shave armor from things that are not really that important like arms which contain all of our weaponry or horses that's connecting said weaponry and uh, yeah we shave the armor okay we, we did it so we are not especially armored here which means you're not a brawler you're not a frontline mech, you should be definitely in the second line or you should stand next to something big and obvious that everybody will be shooting at. You can hurt people though. You saw me in the first game, I didn't shrink from tanking from close range, from firefighting. I didn't back off from any fights. Well, I remember armor is important, but the firepower and precision, how you are applying this firepower is more important, because if your enemy is dead, it doesn't matter how much armor you have, nobody's shooting at you, because they are dead. You think it's stupid and it cannot work? Go back to my first game and, you know, we can talk. And now the second game. 
Enemy detected. Hmm. Yeah, I cannot fight that. Will not happen. Yeah, that's a six. We got two light right there. Hmm. New contact. New contact. Watch your sensors. Uh huh. Well, this guy, my this game, I will win, Mister. Artillery, open fire. Huh? Enemy detected. This game, I will definitely win. Enemy oh, hello. Oh. This Atlas is a problem, though. I've got what? Contact. Enemy detected. Well. Do I have enough ammo for this? Well, I'll probably die before anything will uh, came out of it. What? Since when? What? Oh, if this bunch will die, then I'm in trouble. What? Well, I that was a consular, so oh, that's a problem. We are everywhere. That's a problem. <laughs> oh, we are sitting in the basement. Ah, oh, she's running into the basement. Don't run into the basement. Stay, stay out of the basement. Contact. We want to be I aggressive outside, contact. not inside basement. Headshot. Nice. Enemy detected. I've got some serious damage. Come on. Contact. I have enemy contact. Yep. Tunnel vision much. Lucky bastard. Enemy mech destroyed. UEV. What is that? Apache. That's Hal versus this Apache. Target destroyed. There is no need, it seems. Enemy detected. Armor breached. Eh? Ow. Three enemies in the basement. Enemy detected. Mm. Actually, I think my previous position was not bad. Copy. Except, you know, I, I need someone with me here. Acknowledge. Yeah, we are. We have, I mean. They've made it. Enemy detected. Alpha came out, right yeah. side, Echo 4. Copy. All right, like it's not like what I wanted to hear, to be honest. Left side wide open. Up yeah, but there. where is he? New contact. The Shadow Hawk in the basement city open. Sensors are Legs on Kubler. I don't like that. Mm, check him for Excel. Okay. Enemy detected. Hey, Fox. Yes, yes, that's my. Ugh, that's not the torso I want to show. Fox is hurt. He just dropped a treasure. Yeah, he might be Excel. Uh, not might not, but one named at the five basement seismic. This could work now, some of right. We need to drop to the basement. Enemy detected. We're up nine five. I've got them in Delta five and Echo five on seismic. I have enemy contact. 
Critical damage Copy. levels. Stone Rhino's in the basement, Echo 4. New contact, new contact. Echo 5 started. Hi, Phil. You just have to die. That's all you need to do. That looked like a real blast. Alpha stick. That's the mission move. Enemy detected. Contact. I have enemy contact. Uh huh. Would you maybe die? GG. Ooh. I'm not sure what this game was. I don't know what. But I was kind of outside. Well, I'm in Hellbringer. I shouldn't be anywhere close to this black heavy brawling. Alright, that would be it. I hope you enjoyed today's gameplay. I didn't play all that many games to give you those two. So I think I play only a couple. But I think I will go back to this build because it's very fun and enjoyable to play. Hitting precisely what I aim for is very satisfying and if that thing I'm aiming for is running a light that thinks he's so almighty and great, it's doubly satisfying. Anyway, consider subscribing to the channel, sharing the video, comment on it, you know, the usual stuff. If you want me to play something specific, you can tell me about it in the comments. I might even consider it sometime in the future, probably. We will see. Anyway, that's it for today. See you on another battlefield, McWarriors.